Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of unit conversions. This is standard 5.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, we have a problem with the length of the wall. So it's 29 feet in Mr. Shelby's classroom, and we simply need to convert this length into inches. So we need to go from feet into inches. Now, what do we know about feet and inches? Well, we know that one foot equals 12 inches. Most of us already know that. If for some reason we don't, it's on our mathematics chart. So we're going to have to do something with this 12 and this 29, but what are we going to do? So sometimes we divide, sometimes we multiply. Let's see if we can figure out what is going to be our um, operation. Let's see if we can figure this out. We've got 29 feet, so we've got the length of the wall. I'm just going to call this 29 feet. Now, so if I were to, to make this actually look like 29 feet, I'm going to start, but I'm not going to go all the way open. I'm just going to kind of pretend. There's no point for me to actually draw 29 little boxes, but pretend I've got 29 little boxes right there. So each of those feet has within it, we see one of those feet has 12 inches. So I've got 12 inches here, and then I've got 12 inches here, and I've got 12 inches here. And once you visualize it like that, most of the time we see that, okay, I, need, I see what operation I'm going to need to do. I'm going to need to count 12 inches 29 times. So there's 29 sets of this 12 inches all the way over. And so we're going to need to multiply. And that's when we're doing unit conversions. It's going to be easier to remember. Think of your unit conversions if you're going from big to small. So feet, that is larger than inches. From big to small, you're going to multiply. If you're going from small to big, so let's say that we were going from inches back up into feet, that's when you divide. So big to small is multiply, small to big is divide. So we're going to need to take our 29 feet and see that every single one of those has 12 inches. So 29 times 12. You know what, that's actually pretty close. Let's estimate, see if we can get anything close. It's close to 30 and 10. So we know multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. We got 1 times 3 is 3. Add the two zeros that's left over. So I'm thinking close to 300. So I don't have anything that's exactly 300. Uh, the closest one maybe is this 338. But we'll see. Let's do the actual work here. So we've got uh, 9 times 2. That's going to be 18. And we've got uh, 2 times 2, that is going, going to be 4. We're going to add that 1 back in, and that's going to be 5. So we're doubling 29, we're getting up to 58. And then this is easy, we're just multiplying by 1. We're putting a 0 here, because remember this 1 right here is actually in the tens place. So when we do this 1 times 9, it's actually 10 times 9. And so 10 times t 9 is 90. So that's why we put that 0 there, in case you're ever wondering we need to make sure that this 1 times 9 looks like a 90 rather than just a 9 because this 1 is actually a 10. Then we've got the same thing, this 10 times this 2, which is actually a 20. So that's why you're going to get a 2 over here in the hundreds place because it's really 200. So let's add that together. We've got 8. 9 and 5 is 14. So there we go. We've got 348, so we were close, but that's why we checked the actual work. Our answer here is F.